Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart Sign of Black in again asking you to hit the share button. Um, I want to thank anyone who hit share or like or subscribe, either one of them. I appreciate that. Um, but especially for the share button because in that regard, um, the share button is the one that helps out everybody, not just me. It helps out the masses and we need that. Now, that being said, I want to go ahead and um, point out to you how, um, unfortunately, in our community, uh, we're going to have to be honest, there's been a uh, socialization, and uh, this socialization has, on one hand, been very damaging, and uh, I'm just going to be honest with you, the socialization does not help but on the other hand, uh, the socialization has backfired. And I want to express a, a joy and a hope in the backfiring of this situation, actually. Um, if you look at the Steve Harvey show, I don't know what episode this was. But on the Steve Harvey show, there was a guy named Donovan. Light-skinned brother, bald head. Pretty much looked like me with glasses, really. Um, 50 years old, didn't look a day older than 30. Um, he went on one day and said that he was turned off by many things, or it could be the smallest of things. Um, he went back on the show later on. He was dressed in some <clears throat> black to Africa attire. And Steve Harvey read out to him um, some of the things that people had said as far as feedback goes, some things that black women had said, good and bad. Um, of course, there were those who had to say something about his forehead, and when you're bald, your whole scalp is your forehead, and people tend to forget that. I mean, Tupac had a big forehead if that's going to be your criteria. Um, and they said things about his shirt. You know, well, you know, he got the job, though. And one of the things he said was, I don't like broke women. And Steve Harvey said some real dumb, ignorant, simp stuff, which was, well, then make more money. What, you, what do you mean make more money? This is the age of gender equality, Steve. You go tell the women to make more money. You don't sit up and tell the men to make more money, and then you don't tell the women to be submissive, fuck the shuck up, share valuable information, but after that you fuck the shuck up and do what the hell he says unless you're going to take responsibility for the final decision. Pay the cost to be the boss or fuck the shuck up and let whoever is paying the cost be the boss. And this is what I've been waiting to hear, but I don't hear that. And so for that reason alone... Um, I got to be honest and say that at the end of the day, uh, I was glad to see this. I was glad to see this guy. Uh, but on the other hand, I was sad to see him on the show the second time, not the first. First time is exactly what these ladies needed to hear. But I was sad to see him on the show a second time. And what's the reason? This means that he was accepting at some point that something was wrong with him. This is not something that he needed to accept at all. He was right for being as picky as he was, and you already know the reason why. If you've heard anything else I've ever said before, he was right for being as picky as he was because at the end of the day, this is exactly how women have been socialized to be, and we ourselves have socialized in this way. I'm going to socialize my daughters to do the same thing. To be picky, but to be picky within reason, mostly on the basis of morality and if she likes what she's looking at. Because if I tell her to be picky on the basis of finances, that's going to eliminate most men for her. And my daughters are already going to outnumber, I mean, they're going to be part of the gender that outnumbers the other. And that's the truth of the matter. And besides, it's really not my job to tell my daughter to do something that's going to make it more difficult for her to have children later on if that's what she's looking for. A family and dedication and children. And straight up, if my daughter gets married and she did her due diligence and he just still turns out to be a bad dude, I'm not going to say to her, you can't come back. But when she goes and gets the most knucklehead nigga, the most idness nigga she can find, like what Western women are taught to do, and that doesn't work out and it won't, and she comes, she's got a, a, one of my grandkids. No, you could send a grandkid to me, but you can't, you can't come stay. That's not going to happen. Because I told you about that nigga and you just had to stay with him. 
That's what that means to me. Now, BGS put out a video a while back, over a year ago, and he rightly said, we black men have been socialized by our mothers to pick black women, oftentimes the uh, dysfunctional or the single mother or just the one with the attitude, but this otherwise functional. He rightly pointed out that we have gotten our standards from black women. Donovan is a case in which it backfired. If you know somebody like Donovan, go to them and tell them you're doing the right thing. Make it difficult for them because they're going to make it difficult for you for no reason. And as a matter of fact, get your passport and bounce. Because when you get your passport and you bounce out the West, you're more likely to meet the ones that are attractive and will meet standards instead of just simply sit back and judging other people by standards. It's not the way that works when you go abroad. And I'm going to say this. Because this ain't going to make no difference to me. Go to the Philippines. If you are a Christian, go to the Philippines. If you are a Muslim, go to the Philippines or Malaysia. In the Philippines, some brothers have said that actually there are women who prefer black men over white men. You don't get that in Africa. Now, I thought so at first. I've seen evidence of it, but lately, matter of fact, earlier today, I saw some brothers talking about it who had been to the Philippines. Two different men said the same thing. They've been told this by the women there. We prefer you. You know how to have fun. White guys are always too serious. Now I understand why it is that in Southeast Asia, these white dudes are being taken for their money. The one white dude I noticed not being taken for his money, he's really cool, laid back like a brother is. And he thinks that he may have some blood in him. He's one of them type white dudes. But for the most part, the rest of them, real serious. I get it. You know, running the world is not easy, especially when uh, people may decide to take their territories back from you. Rightfully so. Um, and you know what? They're going to these parts of the world. But these women are like, okay, yeah, we might be soft and submissive. But F you, you're the colonizer. Bring that money. Send it to me. Put it in my account. And don't bother me no more. That's what they're like with these dudes. With brothers, they are approaching them, saying we prefer you all. This is something, um, and, and a, a, a tropical brother just told me a little while ago how he's been flirted with. Now, I know the white guys go, they don't necessarily get flirted with like that unless there's no other dude around. I'm aware of that. But I know also that they got brothers that are out there going to these areas and women are flirting with them. Look, I'm telling you this, brothers, um, and, and especially if you're Muslim, you can go there and find a wife. And that's really what I'm looking for to, uh, for you guys. I want that for you, gentlemen. Go there and find wives. Brothers, I want this for you because even if you go into Africa, There'll be some places and there'll be some individuals that prefer brothers over white dudes. But for the most part, the white dude's got a better chance than a brother. And I don't prefer, I don't appreciate that. And I don't give a rat's behind about hypergamy when it, when it, when the woman prefers the oppressor over the oppressed. At that point, I don't care about hypergamy as an instinct. I don't forgive that. That's not something I'm willing to overlook, largely because I am Muslim. I've told women, uh, Arab women and Pakistani women before. You don't have to necessarily prefer black brothers or white brothers naturally, but you're not allowed to prefer the oppressor over the oppressed just because they got more money. That's not, you're not allowed that because you're a Muslim and oppression is one of the worst of sins. It's worse than slaughter in the Quran. Now, brothers, this is an area of the world where you can go. And if you simply just put forward your best foot and keep it forward, be your best self. You can be preferred over someone else. That's real. And this is what brothers deserve after a while. Sis has been saying we deserve to be first choice. No, not really. I can't say that because they've been first choice for a lot of brothers in the West. And uh, when the brothers to whom they are first choice, they uh, start finding to be unattractive. But um, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. When I was growing up, I wouldn't touch a white woman like that. And I let people know this. And, you know, it didn't make a bit of difference. I and other guys that were like that. No, I don't mess with them white women. It, it, these sisters weren't gunning for those brothers. They were going for brothers that'd be like, I just F them all. I just F them all. It's all pink on the inside. They would go after these dudes. So sisters themselves were going after brothers that were open to dating white women, even though they didn't like it. This is a problem right there in the West. 
brothers, hit up the Philippines, hit up Southeast Asia. And when the sisters say, wait a minute, what about us? This is what I say. Well, there are good sisters out there. And I, I'm glad when they find somebody, but they ain't available. They, they've been snatched up. But to the ones that ain't snatched up now, I would say, look, go and try a Filipino man. What's wrong with it? Go try a Malaysian man. Give an Indonesian man a shot. What's wrong with them? If we're not your first pick, then what's wrong with these gentlemen over there? Do you feel that you're automatically superior to them? Wait a minute, I thought you felt inferior to everybody else. Them two can't go together. And another thing, brothers, last note. Look at somebody like Donovan on that Steve Harvey show with them high standards. And you find some young brother, your nephew, your own son, your cousin, and you tell them, show them that clip and say, this is the kind of man you need to be. Don't be going on the Steve Harvey show a second time trying to get yourself fixed. Ain't nothing to fix. You need to have them kind of standards be turned off by anything by which these women would be turned off if they found it in you. That's just fair. And if it makes you single here in this part of the world, then get, your, get older, get your passport, stack your bread, and go to the other part of the world. And I mean that. I hope that this helps. I hope this has been a benefit. Black art. Sign a blackout. Black male power. Assalamu alaikum.